Alright, we're splitting up again. Who are we going with first now? I'm a little confused as to whether they're just going to stick us with one or the other, or we'll be able to switch back and forth while these are going on. Nope. Okay. So we got three things now. Alright. It's 3.30 a.m.? Seriously? Wow. Alright. It's still the morning after, though, isn't it? Why would it be 3.30 in the morning? That's strange. I wonder if that's supposed to be a p.m. Let's see. We'll start with uh, Lucas. Naser and Jones Bank. It should yeah, it is a PM. That was, was misprint in the last screen. Is that him vomiting? Why is he at the bank anyway? I was burning with fever. I was shaking all over. The migraine was back and drilling holes into my brain. And to top it off, I couldn't keep enough food down. My body seemed to be fighting against something, but I still didn't know what. Ooh, it's getting intense. It scene starts off with him barfing in the bathroom stall. Hope oh, something on the ground back there. I see it in the mirror. Bonus plus ten. I have no idea what those little cards are, but I keep finding them. I probably have missed a couple that you, you guys might have seen in the video, but we'll see. We're still at neutral with him, so, I mean, he's alright. I guess neutral is the highest state you really can be in after you kill somebody, since he got a plus there, but his hands, but he didn't actually, you know, get any happier. So what is this? Is this where he works? Oh, he works at a bank. Okay, that makes sense. Gotta just live my life no matter what. Don't raise any suspicions. Despite the state I was in, I decided to go to work as though nothing had happened. Well, I don't know what this red dot up here is, but I'm obviously the blue dot moving around. The red dot, maybe a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm not sure. This door over here? What is this? Oh, is this his office? I'm in charge of computer maintenance in the Naser and Jones Bank. Oh, nice. I share my office with Warren. How's it going, Warren? Let's go ahead and have a seat at our terminal over here. He's got a nice little workshop there. Look at that battle station. Do you know what time it is? What's wrong with you? I had a little problem on the way back in. I had to go back home and change my clothes. Oh, God. What's going on? Did I get it? Failed. What? Oh, seriously? Yeah, I didn't get it fast enough. All right, let's check the drawers. There's a picture in there. What is this? Tiffany and I. About two years ago, I guess. I haven't been able to throw it away yet. Jeez, man, move on. Shut that drawer. All right, what about this drawer? That's the same drawer. Shut that shit up. Oh, oh, don't open it. What are you doing, man? All right, the other drawer. <laughs> Put the cross in there? Is that what this is? Lives plus one? Where did we find a, a cross in the drawer? I'm confused. Don't understand. Probably should answer that. <coughs> hello. Lucas Kane. Hello, Lucas. Oh, hello, Tiffany. I left a message on your machine last night. Um, I'd like to come and pick up some stuff at your place. Could I come over tonight? Oh, yeah. I should be back home around 8 o'clock tonight. Okay, it won't take too long. Are you doing okay, Lucas? I gotta let you go. I'm doing a thing here. Bye. Hmm. Get ready. Oh, boy. Here we go. I'm ready this time. Past? Yes. Look out, the cup. Lucas. Whoa. Is there a problem? No, I, I, I just thought it seemed so real. Uh oh. I saw that coffee cup fall. Dang, is that what that is that what those keystrokes that keep popping up are? Is premonitions he's having? Maybe we should do something about that coffee cup. Whoa. What the hell? Lucas? You okay? Here. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. See, if you do know the key command stroke? No? That's weird. Can I get up or what? Like. Uh oh. Yeah, there goes the coffee. Huh. 
Hello? Yes, sir. We'll get on that right away. Station 62 is down. I'll go. No, forget it. I'll, I'll handle it. Whatever you say. Is he gonna, just gonna, he's gonna clean that up or is he just gonna stare at it? He's gonna leave the coffee spilled yeah, all over your desk? Just like I'd seen it. Like the cop in the apartment. Is it possible that I can really see things before they happen? I think he's really just gonna leave that mess on his desk. That's bothering more than the premonitions are. It's like he spilled coffee all over your desk and you just leave it there? Seriously? Alright. Alright. Oh, there goes the frame rate again. We gotta move over to where the red dot is. I feel like running through the workplace is probably a bad idea, so we'll just peruse our way through the cubicles here. I guess we were at least in like a, a moderately high-ranking uh, position, since we're not out here in cubicle land. We have our own office that we share with just one person. That's fairly legit. Look at all the computer terminals. Man, this must be a pretty large bank. Anyway, we'll wander over to Station 62. This is a fairly convincing environment for a uh, workplace. They have the logos on the walls, the lighting is pretty fluorescent. Whoa, what the hell is this shit? Giant, like, ticks or something? That's weird. Okay. How are you guys doing? Is there anybody here? <laughs> Fix things. Yeah, I thought that's the symbol. <laughs> what now? What the hell is that thing? Like a ghostly little tick or something. Jesus, they're everywhere. Oh, holy crap. Move, run. Oh shit. Knock back into the cubicle. Oh god. Ah. Uh. Oh my god. This is tough. I'm ready, I'm ready. Jeez, these keystroke things are, are really... You gotta be quick on these. Oh, wow. We're doing okay. I guess, I guess that's what these lives are for. Jeez. This is pretty intense. Shit. I did okay on that one. I missed one of them, but I, I got it on the second try, so it's alright. Yeah, let's, let's avoid the giant tick things. Oh shit. Ah, oh, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Oh, wow. We really did tap fast for that one. Back to our office. I said get ready, ready as it popped up. Damn. It's intense. Get ready again. Whew, this thing's intense. I'm ready. Let's do this. Damn, this this leaves a tutorial in the dust. They had to hit like one keystroke at a time. Damn, they're straight destroying the office. I, I don't know how he's even is even staying sane. I feel like this is probably going to depress him quite a bit. Roll, great! Wow, I can't believe I hit all of those. Jeez. God, they never stop. Jeez, there's a lot of keystroke commands. It's crazy. I'm getting, I'm getting worn out. Yeah, get into your office, dude. Oh my goodness! I can't believe I haven't failed one of these yet. Dude, he's like freaking Spider-Man. Are you seeing this shit? This has to be some of the new power things that he's been talking about. Oh shit! Oh my god! How is anybody supposed to hit that? That was just crazy. Maybe I'm supposed to fail that. Because there's no way that anybody could hit that that sequence that fast. Two faces of the same serpent. One in our world, the other in the other world. Woe to he who sees both sides. Snake. What the hell? No. Um. No. That's. What? Lucas. What? Lucas, what happened? Did you hear me? Are you all right? 
Hey, you've hurt yourself. You're bleeding. I, uh, I gotta go. I didn't have the slightest idea what had happened. The one thing I do know, those things almost killed me. Damn. I can't believe I got out of that sequence that fast. That's crazy. That was a, and that, that one at the end, I think, was definitely like a... You're, like, supposed to fail it, because there's no way that anybody could hit that sequence that quickly. Alright, let's do uh, Carla next. Go down to the morgue and look at the body. Of course, we've been seeing the body through Vincent's... Or through Lucas's eyes anyway, so... Let's say 14 degrees Fahrenheit? Why does it keep listing the temperature? Is this, is, this, is that going to become important? I'm kind of watching for it now. It just occurred to me. They've all been complaining about the cold weather and the snowstorms. And the fact that it even lists the temperature is just kind of surprising. We'll see. Yeah, he's definitely dead. Results are in. Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, if you prefer, you can wait outside. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Oh. As you wish. Eh, yeah, she's into gore, I guess. Probably enjoyed Saw. No apparent hematoma on the body. Oh god. Two broken fingernails on the right hand. What, why do I have to respond to these? The until the last moment. He didn't have time to struggle. Alright, so she's, she's getting insight from this. Large hematoma on the back of the cranium. Uh, mm, fracture of the occipital bone. He fell and hit his head. We already knew that. He cracked his head when he fell. Abnormal dilation in, um, both pupils. I don't know what that means. Just because he's staring. Why are his pupils dilated? What did he see before he died? Dilated? That means that they're really large, like it was a dark area he was in. Three knife wounds between the third and fifth ribs in the proximity of the heart. Uh, the blade was driven in deeply. Uh, the stabs seem to have been delivered from the front and moved from left to right. Hmm. The murderer was left handed. How do you figure that? One stab neatly cut the aorta. And the other two cut the left and right coronary artery. Damn. They really didn't have a chance. The blade slipped right through the ribs to cut the arteries. Uh, wow, that's pretty quick. Did he die? Oh, <laughs> I don't know what that was for. <laughs> no, it would be fairly slow. Probably at least three or four minutes. Uh, the time for the brain to stop functioning due to the lack of oxygen. Damn. Well, I don't know what coincidence is, but I'm going to ask about that. Do you think it was just by chance? Mm, difficult to say. The chances of cutting all three main arteries to the heart with three lucky stabs are fairly small, but um, it's not impossible. That's not really helpful. I uh, saw a case like this once before. It was a while back now, in the 90s, I think. Exactly the same. Three stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing were possible. It's a good aim if you ask me. It was the, um, what was that name again? Karsten or Kirsten, something like that. Kirsten. Yes, that's it, Kirsten. You know about that case? Hmm. Not yet. I'm sure as hell gonna find out. It's interesting. She's the one that sent us the email saying it all happened before. Whatever that means. It's really strange because the opening FMV sequence said uh, that this was Destiny's last game, you know, or something, or something like that, for the last big game. And now we're being told it's all happened before, so I don't know. I guess we'll find out.